Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. What is the minimum number of times a fair coin be tossed so that the probability of getting at least one head exceeds 99%? For a fair coin, the probabilities of obtaining a head or a tail in a single toss are equal and each of those probabilities is equal to half. In order to solve this problem, we have to ask the question, what is the probability that a fair coin shows at least one head in n tosses. Whenever we have to find probability that at least one event occurs, and it could be any event, in this case it's one head, but whenever we are given the problem of finding the probability of at least one occurrence of an event, it's always almost always easier to answer the complementary question or find the probability of the complementary event. So in this case, what's the complementary event? The complementary event, that's what I'm writing in red, is basically the fair coin showing no heads in n tosses. So that's the probability, the complementary probability. And if we find the probability of the complementary event, we can pro simply find the probability of the event by subtracting the probability of the complementary event from 1. So let's now focus on you know, solving the probability for the complementary event, which may be easier. And the complementary event here is the fair coin showing no tosses in or no heads in n tosses so for that to hold true the coin must show a tail in the first toss it might also show a tail it has to show a tail in the second toss and so on till the nth toss so it has to basically show tails in first toss, in the second toss, and so on, up to the nth toss. And we know that probability of each of those individual tail events is half, because the coin is fair. So the probability of getting a tail in the first toss is half. Then considering the second toss, only the second toss individually, that probability will be also half, and so on all the way to the nth toss. If we multiply these probabilities, because you know each toss is independent, we can multiply the probabilities and then we'll be able to find what's the probability that the coin shows no heads in n tosses. And this is basically half multiplied n times. So the probability of the complementary event turns out to be half to the power n. So now we have found the probability of the complementary event. We can find the probability of the event itself that we are interested in, which is the probability the fair coin shows at least one head in n tosses by subtracting the complementary probability from 1, so we get 1 minus half to the power n. And this has to exceed 99%. So basically what we have to find is what's the minimum value of n for which this probability exceeds 99%. So we can write an inequality like this. So 1 minus half whole to the power n greater than 0.99. So 0.99 is 
and in order to solve this inequality we basically do this we basically take 0.99 over to the other side so we have 1 minus 0.99 greater than half whole to the power n and then 1 minus 0.99 comes to 0 0.01 so we have 0 0.01 greater than half to the power whole n and what is 0 0.01 well we can express it as a fraction like this 1 by 100 is greater than half to the power n and for this to hold true we basically need to have 2 to the power n greater than 100 so for what value of n will 2 to the power n be greater than 100 well we know that 2 to the power 6 is 64 but 2 to the power 7 is 128 and that's greater than 100 so the minimum value of n for which 2 to the power n will be greater than 100 is n equal to 7 so the correct choice in this problem or the correct option will be option c which is 7 so the coin the fair coin needs to be tossed a minimum of 7 times to ensure that the probability of getting at least one head exceeds 99%